So welcome back to IGCC ICT paper. This is paper 2.2, which is for May, June. We're going to carry on to the presentation task. So this is task number four. You're going to create a short presentation. All slides must be having a consistent layout and formatting. So create a presentation of six slides using a world RTF file, unless otherwise you're instructed something else. So let's go to that world RTF file. Over here, so we have the uh, different ways to do it. We can just right click and click on open with the PowerPoint. So I'm going to choose PowerPoint, otherwise I have to browse it. Okay, I think I will just go for another way. I'm just going to go to PowerPoint. And then I'm going to open that file. So I'm going to browse to that file and I'm going to open it over here. If you cannot see it, all you need to do is just to select from here all files and then select your role file. Okay, you will see all the files, all the slides have been imported and placed in the header automated slide number left aligned. And this will be in the header, in the footer we need to know, need to know the number and candidate and stuff that's supposed to be also left align. So let's go and add this first, these points. And uh, whenever we're adding, we need to make sure those points are added into the master slide. So just go to the view, select slide master and click on the first one always. And then go to insert and click on header and footer. Let's activate in the header, we need to have the slide number. Okay, so slide number is one, it is on the right bottom over here, we need to replace it later. And then in the footer we need to add our names. So let's activate the footer, center number and your candidate number, apply to all. After that you may go and close it and uh, we will need to replace it. So let me go back again and replace it. I better be in the slide master and then go to Yes, over here we just need to move this to be on the header on the left side. And then the next one in the footer which is supposed to be also in the left align. This is not going to appear anyway because it's not activated. But this one is going to appear and make sure that it is left aligned. And make sure also this one is left aligned. Let's close the slide master and perfect. It's working the page number and the name below in the footer. Okay, make sure the header and footer appear in the same position for everyone and no overlapping, correct? And then 24, use the data from this app CSV file, create a vertical bar chart, okay? And to show the number of downloads for each app. So let's first of all, let's go and open this app over here okay we need to create a vertical and we need to show the number of downloads for each app this chart must display only the app title and downloads of millions display with the labels okay so we need to know the show the number of displays So let's just select these two columns and then click on the recommended chart. This is the vertical one and let's click over it. So it's representing the number. So this chart must display only the app title and downloads. So this is the app title and those are supposed to be the downloads. Okay, what else? and display with labels the app titles on each category axis. So we need to make sure um, over here the data label is supposed to be appearing on each of this. Perfect. And then do not display the legend. There is no legend already here. And question number 25, label the chart as follows. So it needs to have top fitness app downloads for 2022. 
and the value axis title as million. You can see this is the category axis and this is the value axis. So let me go to the axis title and make sure this one is appearing and name it as millions. Those are the numbers in millions. I think we don't. I'm just going to remove the bold. And then display only the data values along the top of each bar. Okay, they're all over each bar. And format the axis scale to display a minimum value of zero. The axis scale, which is this one, which is the oh, value. Okay, value scale or value axis as a minimum of zero and maximum 15 and increment between each is three. That's simply right click over here, format axis. So we need to go to the minimum 0 and maximum 15 and then increments of 3. We better ignore the minor and let's check. So that's you can see here the increments are happening for each 3 points. After that 28 place the chart to the left of the bullets to the with this slide that name virtual cycling trends. Let me go to the virtual cycling trends over here so we need to place it we need to place the chart to the left of the bullet so we'll make this to the right and take the chart copy it and paste it over here you may resize it to looks a bit bigger and better when you print it out the next one and make sure no words are split data levels are fully visible and there is no overlapping let's check it on the slide with the title virtual cycling trends okay Create a square shape action button and position this at the top right corner. So we need to put it at the right corner over here. And format the action button so that it will click, it opens the document file name trends. So let's go to insert and let's try to create. Uh, do we need to make it square shaped? Okay, by clicking on shift on the keyboard, that will make sure that it is a square design. If I remove the shift, you can see it's not maintaining the values. So let's click on shift. Okay, after that, we need to make sure, do we need to uh, create a square shape and position it on the top right. Okay, so it's position and format it so that when it's click, it open the document. Okay, so right click, hyperlink. And let's make sure that it is with the existing file and let's go to that specific file. The name of the file is trends RTF file. So to open this file and then enter in the text top fitness trend as a text for this button okay let's check it right now if I'm going to click on it so let me make it duplicate perfect let's go to the next part of the question okay so let's go to place in your evidence document and screenshot showing the action button you link to the correct document so that's I will just the screen capture again for it
okay and that's it let's go for the next point which is okay so it's set in the slideshow so it loops continuously on screen okay so over here in the setup slideshow you need to go and make sure that it is looping continuously until you press on the escape let's try this one as you can see this keep looping uh, until i press on escape place in the evidence document screenshot that to show that you're making it as a continuous loop so go back here take a screen capture of this and place it in your evidence file and for the next part is save the presentation print all the slides in the handouts in the portrait orientation with three slides on the page so so go to the file and here print out and make sure it is with the handout with three per page there is no option of per page so we need to so for that point to add the slide hands out in the portrait orientation with three slides to the page we what is usually common that whenever we go to the printout we cannot find this three slides option so to add it you need to go back to the view in the handout master you will get an option called slide per pages you may go and click on three slides okay after you click on it you will get that option of having three slides per page so as you can see i selected it and then you're going to print out the whole slides and the next part of the question it says print the slide with a virtual cycling trend a full page in the landscape so it is only that specific file or virtual you need to go to the print that exactly selected current file and you need to make it as a full page in the landscape that's for this task and for the rest of the task you need to make sure your evidence file is saved and you will print it out just directly see you in the next papers and if you have any comments you may put it in the comment section